హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ గుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై లినక్స్ సిరీస్ క్లాసెస్ మై నేమ్ ఈజ్ సురేష ఐ హ్యావ్ నియర్లీ టెన్ ఇయర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ అండ్ వేరియస్ ఐటీ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ ఐ వర్క్ విత్ విండోస్ లినక్స్ అండ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ ట్రైన్డ్ హండ్రెడ్స్ ఆఫ్ స్టూడెంట్స్ ఇండివిజువల్స్ కార్పొరేట్స్ ఆన్ వేరియస్ లినక్స్ ఆర్కిటెక్చర్స్ ఐ హ్యావ్ ట్రైన్డ్ మై స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆన్ రెడ్ హ్యాట్ లినక్స్ సెంట్ ఓఎస్ డెబియన్ యూసే ఉబుంచు నాపిక్స్ అండ్ ఆల్ అదర్ డిఫరెంట్ ఓపెన్ సోర్స్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ సచ్చర్స్ పిహెచ్పి మైసిక్వెల్ అపాచి అండ్ ఆల్ సో అండ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ ఫ్యూ వీడియోస్ ఆన్ మై యూట్యూబ్ యూ క్యాన్ లాగిన్ టు మై యూట్యూబ్ అకౌంట్ గో టు యూట్యూబ్ అండ్ సర్చ్ ఫర్ సురేష్ ఆ టిఎన్ సో యూ క్యాన్ సబ్స్క్రైబ్ టు మై వీడియోస్ i have few videos on my youtube account but most of my followers and my students my friends they used to ask the same question that how to learn linux in an effective manner that means to say you you can get videos on internet there are so many videos which are available on internet to learn linux or any concepts but what happens is you may not get the information that how many days it will take to learn the entire linux administration l1 l2 l3 concepts as well as how to learn what has to be learned on day 1 and what has to be learned on day 2 and what has to be learned in day 3 like there is no series whenever you type any concept like how to configure raid you may get informations or videos regarding how to configure raid but by considering all these feedback and suggestions i have decided to create a video series in this video series i am going to create 50 or 60 videos like day 1 day 2 day 3 day 4 day 5 and i am going to organize in the day wise so what happens is in day 1 this is day 1 i am explaining the most basic skills to install linux on your virtual box okay so day two i am going to explain some concepts of shell scripting sorry shell basics and day three i am going to explain on directory structure and so on i am going to explain and i am uh, on every concept like dhcp dns configuration uh, <coughs> http configuration your apache or ftp configuration ntp configuration linux troubleshooting creating new users file management everything i am going to explain in my next videos so please keep on watching my youtube account with suresha tn and this is my website you can log into you can search my website details sureshraw.com and as well as my youtube account okay so most let's welcome to our linux class so most of my followers they used to ask the same question how to install linux on my computer if i want to practice or if i want to learn do i i am using one windows machine do i need to format the windows or do i need to install dual operating system or which is the best way of course there are so many ways which are available but <coughs> for practicing or to learn maybe in your free time for half an hour one hour ages the best way which i suggest is you can install a virtual box on your machine <coughs> it doesn't matter which operating system you are using it could be windows 7 windows 8 windows xp uh, ubuntu any operating system it could be your laptop desktop anything whatever may be the uh, you know hardware configuration which is available on your machine so the best method is which i suggest is go to virtualbox.org virtualbox is an application open source uh, virtual machine application so you can create virtual machines install virtualbox.org and install on your computer it is available for windows also as well and once you install this virtual box on your uh, machine so next what you can do is you can download some virtual box images see you have some virtual box images you can google you can go to virtualbox.org slash images sent os and you can download and install like in this video series i am going to explain you with centos 6.3 centos is nothing but your red hat linux commercial version is what we got as red hat enterprise and uh, the open source is what we got as centos it is more or similar uh, more or less it is similar to your red hat linux 
I, I did not find any much difference between Red Hat and CentOS. <coughs> and you can download this file. And please remember when you download this file, please don't forget to take this username and password. Okay, so there are two user accounts now. One is CentOS and another one is root user. So once after downloading and installing, you have to log into your uh, Linux, right? So this is the account. So root is nothing but administrator account. In if you are very familiar with in your Windows, you use administrator accounts, right? So that is what you got as root. And this is the normal user. CentOS is the normal user. So download the file. I have downloaded that file already here. Uh, where it is? I had downloaded that here. I had downloaded here okay and next step is go to you have already downloaded your virtual box and you install that application right so go to your virtual box click on this new type CentOS 6.3 okay this is the operating system which you are going to use right click on this use an existing virtual hard drive or sometimes you may not see this option so you might have only this much of option so type CentOS 6.3 and you can click on hide description CentOS 6.3 and use an existing virtual hard disk so select the file which you have just downloaded now from internet select this file and click on open create so your virtual machine is ready you have successfully installed CentOS or Red Hat Linux on your laptop or machine or whatever it is no need to install, no need to uh, worry about your hard disk space and all those things and no need to create any user because already two users are created one is CentOS and another one is root user but please don't forget to note down this username and password when you install if you forget this username and password you cannot log in into this operating system ok so let's log into this CentOS while it is logging, we'll discuss something about kernel and shell. <coughs> so what is kernel and shell? So any operating system which has two things, one is kernel and shell. So I would like to explain in very simple manner rather than explaining more technically. So kernel is nothing but, you imagine that you have one car. It's not necessary that you should know about the architecture of the engine or how engine is designed, right? So what you have to know is just you have to know about how to use the accelerator, brake and other stuffs. So it's almost same. So kernel you can consider as engine of OS. Okay. It executes almost all your commands. It is responsible for executing uh, your pro uh, processes. Okay. And shell is nothing but it's just like your brakes or accelerator or gear system or whatever in your car. So it's nothing but the way you give the commands copy paste you can use control c control p control a control z bold italic underline all these things right so you have hardware here and you are the user you are the user by using an hardware such as keyboard or mouse or something like that you give one command saying that copy or paste so what happens is later internally shell will send this command to the kernel and kernel will execute that command and it will send back the output to the shell and that will display it on the output and you can see the result like say for example now I am the user I logged into my shell so this window what you are seeing is what we got a shell okay so now on the shell I will execute an command like who am I so this is an command by using keyboard by using a hardware device keyboard user is typing a uh, command on his shell so that command will internally it will send to the kernel kernel will execute that and it will send the output back to the shell and shell is displaying the same result on my hardware such as monitor or printer or anything so this is how it works so whenever i say shell in my next videos what you have to do is you have to open this window or so for the people for those who are very familiar with windows you have to open your uh, command prompt okay see now my CentOS Red Hat operating system is ready click on the username what is the password okay 
so type that password note down that password in a sheet of paper don't uh, forget that password so now i successfully logged into my linux machine without changing anything i have not uh, changed any hardware architecture i have not installed anything so both are available at free of cost over the internet so first what you have to do is i'll i'll explain once again i'll repeat once again install virtual box on your machine it could be on your windows it could be on your any operating system on virtual box you have vdi files so you can it is available on internet download that vdi files install on the virtual box and login with your username and uh, login credentials which is given so now our uh, saint os is ready so to access your terminal either you can right click or open terminal to access your shell either or go to applications under uh, system tools you have terminal click on that terminal so now you have access to your shell you have access to your shell you can type any command like say for example i want to know my computer name type host name which is a command and it will send it, it will send the command to uh, kernel and that command will be executed okay so this is the best and easiest method which you can uh, install linux on your machine to practice and for more videos please keep on watching my youtube account here suresha.tn so i have few videos i am going to upload a uh, few more videos later and also please visit my website suresharao.com if you want to request for any new videos you can text me you can send me a mail on my mail id mail me at s u r e s h a r e o dot com so this is my mail id you can request for any new video i will create the video if i know the concept and i will send it to if i do not know the concept i will learn it and also thanks for giving me an opportunity to learn new concept i will learn it and i will make video and i will send it to you in the inbox at free of cost and this is one of my hobby i am doing this for my satisfaction so friends keep on watching my videos have a great day thank you